All right, hey, and welcome back. I hope you're having a good day. I am sweating like a whore in church. Good thing I got this set up inside here. But anyhow, this is uh, another little ficus I got. I haven't really touched it for a little while. Just been kind of letting it go. Probably gonna be due for a repot next spring. It hasn't been in this pot all that long, but it does look like that turfus is breaking down. Had a little problem with thrip. One of the problems I haven't really done anything for for a while. It's it's recovered from that finally. It seems to drain okay, or I'd repot it right now, but it does get, uh, I don't know if you guys can really see the little bit of wet stuff on the bottom there. The branches are pretty brittle. I have, I have considered doing a little bit of wiring. Not going to today, but you know, one of the things I do is I do take and I bend every branch down to its like 90 degree angle, if you will, or where it breaks a right angle with the tree. And then it all seems to kind of blend together if you just kind of selectively prune. This one, I had been letting go, just trying to get a little bit of taper. And the last time I pruned it, I actually did tip prune it. And it hasn't given up on it yet. Still got nice green leaves. But it has not really grown much. It actually has a little, you can see a little tip coming out of there. You guys probably can, I can. but So I'm going to just kind of bend on it a little bit. I am gonna really prune hard up here and leave this one alone. Hopefully it kind of comes out. I'd like for it to stay, even though it's not really in tune with the rest of it here. And then just as I go up, think about each and every branch on the way up. At one point, I was gonna to try to make kind of a little literally out of this guy, but I don't think that's gonna work out. So I got this branch here. It's got two branches and then one coming straight up. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm just going to kind of overbend it down a little bit. And you see there where, you know, obviously it'll go back up. We're in the tropics, but I kind of overbend it a little bit. It'll actually stay in place just some down from where I want, you know, from, from what it was instead of sticking straight up. And then the third branch there was sticking straight up. So you don't really want that, want that. And then I come around to the neck branch, next branch I find, which is this one, this one. Now this one here is very young. This one, you know, I remember from the original cutting that I had this, this, this has been in something small its whole life. The, the last pot it was in was actually even smaller than this one. It was a little experiment about keeping things small and whatnot. And, you know, obviously it's, it's pretty old, old cutting and I've kept it pretty small. But this branch here was probably where I was originally thinking, doing a little, little rally at and having, not having the rest of it there. I still could one day, I mean, but... I don't think for this type of tree, this type of tree is always going to wind up building itself a crown like that. So I don't think that's going to work all that well, but I'm going to kind of bend it down a little bit. And then it too also has one of these branches, not really coming straight up, but not really in the best place. And I am trying to thin out the top, especially just hoping that that gets a little more growth to it. Then the next branch I come to is this one, which actually has one, two, three, four, five branches coming off of it. Means I'm coming into the crown, but I do want to start really thinking about what it is I'm going to keep and what I'm not going to keep. This one is its longest branch. And then it's got this one here. And then this one, so it's got the three and then like where that could kind of be considered the longer main one there. There's two more coming out of the top there. So I'm gonna take the two more out of the top. Gonna bend these all up. I may wind up even taking more than that off. Just kind of depends on what I find on the rest. And right here, there's a branch just coming out of the crotch right there. I'm just going to pop that out. Here's another one coming out of the crotch there. I'm going to pop that out too. And actually, I've heard people say with the rules, this one seems a little long. And I've heard people talk about with the, you know, pruning rules or whatever. You don't want to grow tridents. So I actually do think I am going to take that third one off. And so that one had, what, five branches. And I just took it down to two. 
I'll try to bend them down as best as I can. And then starting from about here, I'm also gonna make sure that I tip prune them. And then the next branch I come to would be this guy. Not really all that much left of the tree here. Be this guy here. Again, it's got a little, it's got a thicker part that's about that long, and then it kind of goes off into oh six or so other branches. There is one really big thick one that kind of goes into three. And so I'll take that guy off there. And then take and aggressively bend what's left there. Now this one, kind of long and actually growing into that one. I don't really want them growing on top of each other. So I'm gonna go ahead and eliminate that guy too. Already I've simplified it quite a bit. And I tip prune. Somehow I tip prune that guy without thinking about it because it just already doesn't really have its growing tip there. But I didn't get this guy, so I'll get that one. And then I got this one here. And again, at some point, you know, you do have to be happy with some going up or, or else you won't have a crown, but I'm nowhere near trying to be at the point where I, I can't completely cut all that stuff off for now. And besides it'll regrow. I've, I've, cu I've cut this apex off many, many times and it'll, these true or trees are apical. I've explained before that that's where they just grow straight up and it'll have no problem replacing that. So it's got these two little, it's a little bit of a thicker branch, a bit of a thicker branch with two spindly ones coming off the side and then this big strong one coming right up out of the middle with several sub branches coming off of it. I'm gonna go ahead and just take that off. And then that leads me to what would be the last of it there, and I'm gonna take that whole thing off. Now it's a lot shorter. Should give this a chance to grow out quite a bit since I didn't touch anything down there. And as it just kind of regrows the apex from being shorter there, it'll be a little more believable because it'll be you know, kind of growing into itself a little bit and it won't have such a big cloud over a little tiny trunk. And next spring, we'll take a look at those roots and see what we've got. Thanks for watching.